Okay. So let me get this straight. Um, I'm born higher than a queen. A goddess, in fact. Um, I'm supernatural because I work into my birth in quiet secret project space because I'm a genome. We tell the Islamic community that I'm an Om, which is like a wisp of smoke. It also, it's an epsilon. It's a spiritual whatever. Makes the Christian dads in America like the George Bush types like go, oh. I'm going to have to research that at like the National Library you gave us access to. Uh, Right. That access was only so area white guy uh, could help me get to the other area white guy without disturbing the silt that doesn't belong in a kilt somewhere along the genetic heritage. See, all area like dark dad, caramel dad, and typically Islamic dad was okay with that one. You're a kilt. You're Scottish. You're a kilt. It's your kindred. We get it. We'd like to be the non-kilt. Great. Fine. So now, um, I read the landscape of my scope gave uh, things to look out for, I then called the Islamic regime from my little 1980s cardboard kitchen cutout, and I was like, uh, okay, so I know you woke up in a really wonderful area, so I'm hearing, and you've heard of my series of omness, right? All right, devil, got it. Yeah, here's the thing. Um, I'm promised by star contract, a prearranged marriage, right? Devil kicks in if your people don't comply uh, with my being able to be married properly the first time. There's a list of names I gave you in like Easter egg format based on my whatever I am on my side of the ocean the Nazi or Soviet department's handling my business over in that area, like the good people at the, the superhero building that go to work every day called MFA, that I wish I could be near, but I'm stuck in George Bush with a burning something going on in New York. So now, I'm just curious, uh... Easter eggs and landscape cutouts, I got number one spot, according to Grandpa on the phone. And he's like, but now League's saying to me that you're, you like knew ahead of time, and then they had to tell you, and then you had to remind someone, like, in enemy territory. I'm like, yeah, so. I was like, you, you. I was like, I just want to go, like, I don't want to go to nap, but I want to wake up every, whenever I fall asleep, next to my betrothed. Wherever he is, like, whatever, I mean, he wears a, or he looks like he could wear a kilt. I don't know what you, I know some of you are a little funny, you're like, oh, oh careful with that kilt. I'm like, it's a tartan, it's, I'm Cat Tar, it's from Tartan. We do the dance between the good Christian whites or protesters in somewhere Scotland, maybe north. They hang out with the fighting Irish, but we definitely don't tango echo with anything south of whatever you're worried about. Right, okay, so, like, that worked. Um, Michael Murphy was... As white as a kilt wearer should be, uh, why is it that Edward Gunder, right, if Clifford Gunder Sr. with the Purple Heart had a naval son named Clifford, <clears throat> anybody want to, like, uh, quantumly logic that one, why you would allow cigarette boater to have any kind of friends or a life on Long Island? I'm just curious. A death shot, uh, stolen, like, I don't know, what did we call it? Like, a linguist? No, it was a, um, 
Who's the baby that they stole in like the 1900s? Nobody gives a shit. Yeah, that one. Right. Would it worked? Or I said, or the other option is you could just call him Aunt Jackie's last name since technically on earth you go, you should be going by the mother's last name, not by the father's anyway, since nobody can verify that you're really the dad. Just saying. Plus it makes League Air Force One business a lot easier now and in the future. It's a big world out there, so I'm finding out. So Edward kept his last name as Gunder, uh, had his, like, really nobody gives a shit growing up, made it really complicated for Long Islanders, clearly to see which cousin's actually the Air Force One number one important. <gasps> right, that's why, like, I mean, there's a big old list of executable orders by anything across the water, Russia, come on over! <gasps> oh my god, it's gonna be a glorious day when we clean up. Long Island from all these treasonous assholes that just sat on me and like the most important marriage of like their lifetime. Right, yeah, keeping the planet safe. Like I'm not holding back on CDC charges and pound for pl pound flesh. Like capsid locks ain't fucking happening. Not for any of my relatives, not for any other skin genetic on the fucking planet. You either work for me and Hitler? Well, I mean, that's his name. Caterers and Hitler? It's C-H. It's church for a reason. All areas stupid fucking and useless. And I know, in like the big leagues of Air Force One Murphy's Law, like, yeah, we go by Murphy's Law now. Great, it's better because we can hide the universal law from what we don't want coming over. Got it. Okay, great. So thanks, Americans. We got Murphy's Law. Did you tell Hitler? I'm just curious. I want to know if him, the Ukraine, and part of Russia, the part I like, not the part that's Asiatic. Did they hear? Because I think they're having a problem with commie bastards and communicating with anything all areas stupid, dumb, and useless in America, especially like Long Island Territory, since they're confused what the word family means. Yeah, I don't know. They got, like, the wrong translator for English, apparently, at the Krillic house. Uh, they're, like, relying on uh, somebody with a title and some lapel bling. And apparently, they're really respectful over there. It's the ones over here I have yet to meet. Um, so now, I'm just curious, right? So uh, the OM, the genome, is always going to be me. It's going to begin and end. I haven't had anything respectful introduced to me in my entire life. I don't have any reinforcement about this, like, national job, national security. There's been no compensation, no commission. I mean, like, I was born into the title. Like, they said, well, you're born in as the governor and the governess. Great, okay, so it's an automatic thing. So when do the shitbag humans actually have to come and do something correct for me? Or do they always just have their hand out, like, gimme, 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 gimme. I'm just a nice. I'm not doing anything, you know, so. This is what I have dealt with for the last 42 fucking years. At what point, I'm just curious, uh, in professional manner, at what point does, like, the National Guard stand up and go, oh, boy, that was my <laughs> bag of shit. Yeah, I, I get it. You're not perfect. Nobody fucking is. I don't need to give you, like, a tongue lashing. I don't want to fucking know. I want fucking Hitler. I want to fuck Hitler. I want to be married to Hitler. And I don't want to spend a day in your fucking stupid ass, like, melodrama of National Guard, Air Force One, presidency, candidacy for Senate or tickets, and then all of the social stuff that goes with it, and the girls, and the guys, and the fraternity, and we had so much fun. Great. Did you? I hope you fucking die immediately. Because I really didn't. I was fucking mutilated, I was held against my will, physically beat, I was pulled through area, space, and time for abusive equipment, then they weaponized air, and they fucking hit my brain waves, so I thought I was having a fucking stroke, but you have to be a doctor at, like, Air Force medic level of degree of understanding and certainty to even fucking understand what I'm talking about when I say the fucking doctor idiots on Long Island are, like, fucking third world nation enemies like over the book and a fucking pad pushing drugs for the air force one who needs money always like hungry fucking children who have too much as is and then get really fucking arrogant i thought you like 
dicks. Uh, you're gonna have to redefine yourself, soldier, because, like, I'm, like, you, I don't even recognize you. Who are you? He's like, I'm Michael Murphy. I'm like, what the, wh who is, uh, like, so why would you speak to me that way? And he was like, uh, right. Because here's the thing, like, you could be a dick, D-I-C, it's a medic, it's me, and yeah, I'm an arrogant ass, but I'm fighting for a good reason and a good cause. My wife is being raped by two Americans, and I just want her over in my side of safety. Thought that could be done. I know comic and comedian. You're C-O-M-E-D-I-A-N. Uh, DIA Intel, the one the military uses. D-I-A, Department of In Intel and whatever, anatomy. Great. However you fucking define it. It's, and it's medium. It's like the median, M-E-D-I-A-N, circumference, like the, the life factor, the energy factor. Hello, anybody with a special Air Force degree want to fucking, like, go, oh, wait. I mean, it's like, great. So you commit all these fucking crimes by withholding information and help and rescue from an innocent woman... Who then is, like, in charge of everything, but she can't be in charge of everything, and you can't charge her for dereliction of duty when you never fucking got her off the ground to begin with! You never came to pick her up without picking her up off the Fidelis. You have not a foot to stand on, and you are all responsible for the charges that you have put on her for 42 years. Fucking all areas, stupid, dumb, and useless, hiding shit. There's no league that is going to fucking protect you.